Hello, welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials with the Pi Excellence Tutor. Well, uh, today we are going to look at, um, in this video, of course, uh, linear momentum and um, the series of videos that uh, I will be uploading that we're solving now uh, under linear momentum and collision I will be cutting uh, all the three types of collision that is, elastic collision. Um, inelastic collision and also glancing collision yeah so if you have not yet subscribed to this youtube channel kindly do so subscribe and also you know click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new content so let's get into business now so the question says uh, two identical balls collide head-on one ball was initially moving to the right to the right with a velocity uh, 0 0.75 meter per second while uh, the other ball was initially moving to the left with a velocity of uh, 0 0.43 meter per second what is the velocity of each ball after a perfectly e elastic collision so uh, remember i think those uh, that um, I've taught when we're talking about perfect uh, elastic collision, we are talking about uh, the kind of collision where both momentum and uh, kinetic energy is conserved. So the kinetic energy before collision and after collision is the same, is constant, as well as momentum. So, and uh, if you also look at the question of uh, uh, coefficient of restitution, you're going to find that the coefficient of restitution for a perfect uh, elastic collision is equal to one, it's equivalent to one. All right, so il illustrating what we have, what we, we can say we have a ball. Let's say this is ball one and it's moving to the right with the the velocity of uh, that. So let's say that is U1, the initial velocity. And we have also another ball. This is, we'll label it ball two. It's moving to the left with the, the initial velocity of 0.43 meter per second. So now after collision, this is before collision. So after collision, what happens? Right, so basically we are looking at, uh, we're going to use the conservation of linear momentum. We know that linear momentum is conserved in all the major types of uh, collisions. So according to conservation of linear momentum, we have uh, momentum for particle one, momentum for particle two should be equal to the final momentum. So I'll, say the final velocity is v all right v2 like that one all right so now the other thing that the question has talked about is that these balls are identical so if they are identical it means they are the same so the mass one is equal to mass two so we are going to say mass one equal to mass two and this equal to m basically because the the masses are equal the both are equal so we are going to write this equation using m and then we have a u1 0.75 all right plus m and u2 remember that uh ball number two is moving to the left so momentum is a vector quantity so you take uh, note of the direction so the direction for ball two is in the left. So it's negative if we take uh, positive x, positive y, like that, that direction. So we're going to have negative 0 0.43. Go to M. Okay, so V1 plus M V2. These are the uh, what we want to find at uh, the velocities we want to find so what are we going to have we're going to have um, so we can factor out the m's here and we're going to have m 
being equal to 0 0.75 plus, oh, sorry, it will be minus because of that negative. So it will be minus 0 0.43. Equal to, we factor out also an M, we have that. So we can cancel out the M and then we subtract this. So what are we going to have? 0 0.75 minus 0 0.43. We have 0 0.32, so equal to V1 plus V2. So let that be our equation one. And then this is a perfectly elastic collision. And uh, for those students, I, I think I'll be able to post also a video on how to derive from conservation of linear momentum and um, conservation of kinetic energy for elastic collision, the equation for that involves the um, coefficient of restitution. But uh, this equation is um, u1 minus u2 negative of v1 minus v2. This is how it looks like, all right? So you can make sure that you have this equation in your head. Uh, instead of using the um, kinetic energy, which is going to give you uh, quadratic equations at the end, you can use this one. So U1 is uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 minus U2 is minus 0 0.43 equal to negative V1 plus V2 with, with uh, distributed negative. So we're going to have here, we're going to have positive. So 0 0.75 plus 0 0.43. We're going to have one point. One point one eight equal to negative V1 plus V2. So we have two equations now. Now, these two equations, we can solve them simultaneously. You can use the elimination, you can use the substitution method, um, whichever way. So for me, for me, I'm going to use um, elimination. So I'm going to add the two equations. Okay. And then we have 1.18 go to negative V1 plus V2. So I add these equations and you can see that V1 is going to eliminate. So we have a 0 0.32 plus 1.18. And what we have is, um, 1.5, right? We have 1.5 equal to V1 plus minus V1, it give us zero and we're going to have two V2. So we divide by two by two and then V2 is going to be equal to 0 0.75. So the standard unit is meter per second. And we can use this V2 to find V1 by substituting in any of the equations, equation one or equation two. So let's take uh, equation one. So equation one, if we make V1 the subject of a formula, it's going to be 0 0.32 minus V2. So V1 is basically 0 0.32 minus 0 0.75. V1 is equal to 0 0.43 meter per second. So these results are telling you here to say, uh, since these balls are identical, after collision, they had to exchange the velocities. And we can see that uh, the, the, the particle one, uh, the first ball, 
after collision, it reversed. It began to move uh, to where it came from in the negative direction. And the particle two also, uh, so that they bounced, all right, after, after the collision, boom. Yeah, so that is how we solve uh, that question uh, about linear momentum. So always remember when you are solving uh, linear momentum questions or collisions uh, to identify if this is perf a perfect elastic collision, is this glancing uh, collision or an elastic uh, collision and you'll be okay. And you need to make sure that you understand mathematics, right? Yeah, so remember that uh, happiness is understanding and clearing physics. Yeah, so make sure that you subscribe. You can share if you like this video, click on the like, comment, and I'll be glad to respond to you. So thank you so much. See you in the next uh, video.